Liftoff will start in T minus 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have ignition. It is very important to know your gun laws, guys, and the areas that you're in. As as in Texas, you can carry swords out in public and all kinds of other things. Whereas in New York or California, gun laws are way stricter. So just be sure to know your gun laws in your area, and that way you're not getting in trouble for that. But in today's video, i got something special for you guys. I've talked about this rifle a little bit before. This is the 308 Savage Axis. The, uh... I tell you what, this rifle right here has some cons and pros, and I'm going to go through those in today's video for you guys. First off, one of the pros, it's extremely lightweight, it's easy to carry. That is something that I will always be thankful for whenever it comes to a good rifle. Being lightweight just pays intent. But a con to that is because it is lightweight, it's going to kick you a little bit harder. Now, it's a 308, so it doesn't have a lot of kick. My 30 out 6 kicks way worse than this rifle does. Now, something else. This is made out of a lighter steel. It's not as heavy as something like a stainless steel barrel that's real heavy. It's real big. So the barrel does heat up a lot. So if you're a person that's going to be out doing a lot of shooting or you think you're going to be using a rifle a lot, this is not going to be the rifle for you. I know that sounds like it's kind of like I'm telling you guys. I'm not saying don't buy it. I'm just saying this rifle is probably not going to be for you. It heats up a lot because we put four rounds through it here the first couple times that we shot it each time. And it took a good 45 minutes on about a 70 degree day for it to just cool back down. And that's just a long time, especially to do it. Now there's some ways around that. You can wear shooting gloves. You can wear all kinds of things. Now the cool thing about this though is that you can buy these rifles in Walmart. They're fairly cheap. That's another pro to this rifle is that it is extremely cheap. And compared to a lot of other rifles, it is. You can buy this rifle at Academy Sports and Outdoors. You can buy it at Bass Pro. You can buy it at Walmart. That's where this one actually came from. It comes with the Weaver scope on it. It's a pretty good scope. I'll probably end up changing it out eventually. Savage has actually been a pretty good brand. It's treated me extremely well. Guys, I'm not going to tell you guys anything that... I'm, I'm not going to tell you guys to go out and buy it because everybody's taste is different. I mean, you like chicken, I like steak. So, going to be a little bit different in that aspect of things. It does come with this slick mozzie oak finish on it, though. And that is something that I really appreciate. It does have some compensation for the recoil because it is so light. It's got that nice rubber wooden padded butt stock. The magazine capacity on this rifle is extremely good. It actually holds four plus one, so you can have one in the chamber and four in the magazine, which is actually pretty good for a rifle like this. I have an assortment of other rifles. I have friends who have other types of rifles that you really don't have that much magazine capacity on. Comparing it to a shotgun, most shotguns, if you just buy a standard one that's on the cheaper side, you're only going to hold three rounds. So if you're going to use that to go hunting, I recommend using the rifle. Now, good thing about a shotgun is that if you're hunting deer and you're trying to hunt squirrel out there at the same time, then yeah, you can have a shotgun and you can change out the loads fairly quickly. Whereas I'm not going to shoot a squirrel with this 308. So a lot of people ask, what does the price point actually come down to? I'm sure a lot of you guys are out there actually wondering that. You can buy this rifle for about $420 now after taxes. Now, that's going to vary because there are different aspects to the Savage Axis models. There's different there's different styles of these. Some of them are a heavier style. Some of them are not. This one is the basic model of the Savage Axis 308. So, don't go to the store and be like, well, he said it was going to be this, and then it's actually... 500 and something dollars it's got something different about it it's made out of a heavier steel it's the fancier model there's always stuff that plays into that just like there's anything cars or anything that you buy it always plays into that how is the rifle hunting now i will say this this weaver scope was highly accurate 
I had to tweak it just a little bit right out of the box after I bought it. Took it over to the range, and after tweaking, playing with it for about 10 minutes, it was dead on accurate. So, definitely impressed by that. Like I said, though, I might end up replacing this scope at some point. Something that's like what I'm, what's on some of my other rifles, that way it stays consistent across the board. But really, guys, you don't really need to, because... That Weaver scope is going to do everything that you need. Fun fact, though, too, guys. A lot of people don't actually know this. I know that I said this rifle came from Walmart. If you buy a rifle from Bass Pro, and if it has a scope on it, or if you're buying the rifle and buying the scope, they will actually sight it in for you at the store. A lot of people don't know that fact, and it surprises me. I didn't know that till several years back whenever they actually told, told me that either, so... Guys, if you buy it at Bass Pro, they will sign it in for you. Now, that doesn't mean it's going to be down accurate to you because everybody's different. I have actually discovered this whenever I've been shooting with somebody else that's about three inches taller than I am. It actually does make a huge difference. And I discovered that years ago whenever, you know, you got to learn from people that have made these mistakes before. And, yeah, what he saw and what i seen, two completely different things. It still had the target, but my shots were dropping way down lower, so had to aim up higher to compensate for that with the same gun. So, whenever you're doing that, just remember it. And remember, it's set to the laser sight, so it's not set exactly to you. It's set to the guy that's taking it down there and sighting it in for you. But it does get it a little bit closer, so you don't have to tweak it quite as much. If that's something that you're interested in, be sure to check that out. I'm not endorsing Bass Pro. I'm not sponsored by Bass Pro. I'm not, like, you know, telling you to go buy this gun at Bass Pro. I'm just saying, especially if you're a new gun owner, I really recommend you check that out, though, because it will really help shape down some of that. Bass Pro, listen to the one up here in Springfield does. They even have a gun range in there to where you can go in there and actually shoot guns downstairs. There's some rules to it. Look it up on the website if you're interested in that. A lot of people don't know, but their basement area down there actually has a good gun range in it. Lots of new things. Hopefully you guys learned that today. If you didn't already know, because it's just amazing to me about how this stuff gets around. Back to the 308 though. 308 is the caliber that a lot of people go to. The ammo is actually fairly cheap, especially if you buy like Netto rounds because the military uses 308 rounds, so they're available in NATO rounds. You can bundle them up and you get twice as many rounds, you get 40 to the box. Actually, the NATO rounds are very impressive. Actually, I bought some boxes of those, and I bought some boxes of the Winchester. I actually like the NATO rounds better. I don't know what it is about them, but they just seem to be better. I've never had a problem with this rifle feeding any of the shells and whenever I put it in there, any of the cartridges. So there is a lot of things to be said about this little Savage Axis right here. Be a great beginner gun for a kid if you're looking for a gun for your son's first hunting rifle. It's be good. I know a lot of people are partial to the 243s and 223s and all kinds of stuff like that, but I'm telling you guys... This rifle right here is one that I would highly recommend you guys check out. And then they got something. Again, though, if you're a person that's going to do a lot of shooting, you got to watch that barrel. Buy the heavier version of this gun. Savage makes a lot of different, different rifles. My 300 Win Mag, for example, and there's a video of it on this channel as well. It is stainless steel. It's a lot heavier. Depending on what you're doing. If I was going to go hunt bear, yeah, I'd probably take the 300 wind mag. Even though it's heavier and it's going to be some extra weight. But if I was just going to go out on a casual deal to go deer hunting, this 308 would be fine. Or whatever other caliber that you have. But if you had this rifle right here, it would get the job done. Wouldn't exactly take it bear hunting. Not exactly something. But a lot of people hunt with this. So they make this rifle in 308. And they make it in 7mm. And they make it in 30 odd 6 And they make it in a lot of different calibers. So this particular style and this particular model made by Savage is made in several calibers. And again, 243s and 223s. And you can get about anything 
that you want. So if you're somebody that's interested in that, go to your local Walmart, try to check it out. If you can't find it there, then check out Bass Pro. If it's not in Bass Pro, then ask them about ordering you want in. Again, guys, if you're somebody that is looking for a rifle to add to their collection, something that you probably aren't going to shoot if you're looking to add that next caliber to your collection, you don't own a 308 and you're not sure if you're going to like it, this is a way for you to get into the market on a 308 without having to break the bank. So at the end of the day, this Savage Axis is worth buying if you have the extra $400 sitting around. And even if you don't, there's always credit cards. I'm just kidding, guys. Don't run up your credit cards. That's a horrible thing to do. But at the end of the day, though, guys, seriously, go check these out. If you handle it and you hate it, then by all means, again, not everybody likes the same flavor. Not everybody likes the same things. And that's all right, because that's what makes the world go around. This has been a review on the Savage Axis 308. God bless each and every one of you. I'm Jared with General Exploration and Discovery. Subscribe and turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our weekly uploads.